There is black stuff all over your arms and like wood chips all over your shirt. It's been a morning. <laughs> I went and moved our trailer successfully Great into job. the right spot. Proud of you. To come home to find out there's a screw in the truck tire. Oh no. Which we discovered after we hooked up the trailer. Is that going to screw up our day? No, because I have a professional plug kit, but we were trying to plug the tire without taking the tire off of the car, which we successfully did, but only after like we had to lay in the grass and like our hands are cramped because our tires are like super heavy duty, like yeah. heavy, heavy duty they, tires. They have to be. And yeah. But now I've got this black stuff because I just got the Kamado Joe growing because when we are doing keto on the couch, we're going to rotisserie another beef round to take with us to the Keys. Howdy partners, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to gauge, like, how embarrassed are you? sitting next to me at this point. I really do love you. I mean, I guess Nisha Berry says it right, like you just got a style, right? <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that, partner. The, the scary part is, is these clothes are all in her closet. Yeah, I didn't shop for anything. Well, here's the thing. You didn't really get it throwing us all together though. Well, this, this was in my son's closet because Caleb loves to dress up for, I guess it's biological. He likes to dress up for a different series that we do at church. Right. So um, I put on a vest that, that he had and it was it was too big for me. And, and I was like, I have the same vest. We have the same vest, me and him. So I was like, okay, we're raising these kids right. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Well, here's the funny thing. I'm looking at you last night we were sitting down and, and we're trying to go, what are we going to do for Halloween? Because nothing like procrastinating to the very last minute. Thank you very much. Uh, nothing like waiting to the very last minute, you know, like just five days, six days before Halloween. Yeah. And oh, and by the way, there's only what, four mailing days left? Well, we had like 50 different costume, like couple costume options in our Amazon cart. But nothing is going to get here before Halloween. But we hadn't pulled the trigger on any of them. So we ended up finding this place online. It's like called HalloweenCostumes.com. And honestly, by the time you see this video, you could probably order and still get it because... We haven't gotten our thing yet. I don't know if we could recommend it yet. Well, I'm just... Their prices were pretty good. Yeah. They had a 15% off coupon if you signed up for their mailing list. The prices were better than Amazon, a lot of things. And we ordered it on Sunday night at 9.30, and it's supposed to be here by Tuesday. We will tell you on Tuesday, did we actually get it? But it only cost us an extra $13 to get it by Tuesday to guarantee that we were going to get it. Like, I would take that. like us. Because, yes, I mean... And it was still cheaper to buy it than buying it on Amazon. Even our local, like, Walmart, Target, Party City, like, people must be going to a lot of Halloween parties this year because right. usually... You can coast in pretty late in the game and still get a costume, but no, we could only get like, they had one half of a couple's costume, but not the other. Not the other half. Or one was like $30 and one was $200. Yeah. Like they were really good. But anyway, looking at you, we should have just been Cowboys. Like, no, we should have been Toy Story. Rhinestone Cowboy. Oh yeah, we could have been like... Jesse and Woody. Yeah, because you pretty much got Jesse's outfit right now. Well, but you, I wouldn't be surprised if this was an actual Toy Story hat. But you, it would probably be in her closet. But I would need to be Bo Peep because Jesse's going out with Buzz Lightyear. Anyway, enough about costumes. That Sorry. beeping back there was actually 
eggs because I'm making some hard boiled eggs because we're heading to the Keys for a couple of days, just, just two days. We're leaving today, coming home Wednesday and we need to be prepared. It's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So we got some beef going out there. Mm -hmm. We got some hard boiled eggs. We'll bring some eggs to cook on the Blackstone. I'll grab a pack of bacon out of the freezer. Super easy. And we got some hot dogs. So a great way to go camping. I love this. If you're having a tough week, I think about this. Like I know that we're going to lean on these type of things as we go into the holiday season. When you hit a really tough week, mm -hmm. the meal prepping for this is is so easy. Yeah. Right? It's really like set it and for, forget it things. Yep. Because you can do roast. You can do those kind of things in, in the, the pressure cooker too. Oh, yeah. I mean like roast and like pulled beef and stuff like that. So this is super easy to actually be ready for the next couple days. And then we can adventure and not have to worry about what we're going to cook. Speaking of the holidays. So last night we were just relaxing together and... Uh, we were talking about what are we going to do when this challenge is over? We were, I was in a full blown panic attack. Why? Because we're having so much success that I'm afraid to mess anything up. I think we're going to be fine. I think that we've, we've overcome our demons. We've realized some of our demons were, we were under eating. Yeah. The bot's the bottom line. You know, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs has been really good for us because it's helped us to recognize, you know, issues like we were way under eating. And I know there's going to be somebody right now that's going to go down in the comments section and go, there's no such thing as under eating. There is. And she's proved it because she was eating 500 calories and gaining weight because calorie restricting doesn't work. That's the bottom line. Our it all comes are down smart. to grams of protein and grams of fat. And when you look at the amount of grams of fat that we were eating, especially for like the last month and a half or two months before we started this, our total calories was probably under a thousand a day. So we, we just mess with our bodies. And I think that we've helped to recognize some of the demons of like, it's okay to eat breakfast. You don't need to intermittent fast every day. Is there benefits to intermittent fasting? Absolutely. Yes. But I don't believe it should be done every day, especially... If you're like us and you've screwed up your metabolism, and Thomas DeLawler has lots of videos on that, like especially when you get into your 40s and 50s, you probably shouldn't do it every day. We need to vary things up a little bit. Well, and I don't think for me, I need to make sure that I'm not intermittent fasting out of fear. Yeah. Is that and the source? And that's what we were doing. Is that the source of it? Am I afraid? Is that why I'm intermittent fasting? Is that why I'm passing on breakfast? If I'm passing on breakfast because I'm not hungry or I have a different meal plan for for some actual reason, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But I am tired about I'm tired of living afraid. And that's what we were doing. And and this and I'm not wearing my watch right now, but stop eating to your watch and start eating to your body. And that's what beef butter, bacon, and egg has helped us to recognize. I do want to address the couple of comments that I saw in the comment section. And the biggest thing is, is, you know, there were a bunch of people saying that, like, you know, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs isn't for everybody. And, you know, you guys are acting like it is. We've never said that. No. Um, beef, butter, and bacon, egg is definitely not for everybody. I will stand by a majority of your diet should be meat, especially if you're on the keto lifestyle. That's how our body was designed. A majority of your diet, when you look at your plate, it should be a lot of meat. And then if you want to have some vegetables, have some vegetables. But we've never said that this was for everybody. This was a challenge issued to us by Dr. Barry. And we have enjoyed it. We have learned a lot. But for me, this is not a permanent lifestyle. Why? Because for me, eating only beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, or even only carnivore, is not sustainable. For me. We never want anybody to feel like if they're not doing a challenge with us that they're not part of this family. That's I mean, right. we have done all kinds of challenges. We never expected someone to do only keto brick for a week right. when we were doing that challenge or only keto chow for a week when we were doing that challenge or only eggs. Right. I mean, we have done all kinds of crazy challenges and maybe somebody that's just coming to to learn about us like or meet us for the first time mm -hmm. may think like gosh these guys are are coming off hard on this challenge right it's for ourselves right. that that's if we're it. not hardcore we won't stick to we it. won't stick to it so but never ever think that we are insisting that you do a challenge that we're on because we don't 
think that at all. We do crazy, silly things. Some of them yeah. to experiment on ourselves to see what it does for us. Sometimes to show you guys. This was a combination of both yeah. to learn about ourselves and also to, I would say, make a little bit of a statement that it's okay to eat a lot of meat because we, you know, I've in four years, I've watched keto evolve. Yeah. So four years ago, protein was demonized. Yeah. It was, you 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 need to be at this much protein right all day. Six ounces of protein. And they weren't talking about six ounces of actual protein. It was like six ounces of protein when you got the protein, the fat, and the water all in there. That's another whole video. So like a piece of chicken about that big, you're done with your protein for the day. Then we shifted somehow from eating demonizing protein to... We're going to demonize fat, and then if you're on a keto lifestyle, you don't need to eat fat because you want to burn your body fat. And now, all of a sudden, everybody started eating really high protein and hardly any fat. Right. And my contention is the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Eating more of a one-to-one -one lifestyle, that is how our body was designed. There's lots of studies about it. You got Dr. Ted Naiman, Dr. Cyrus just put a thing out there about being in homeostasis and eating more on that one-to-one -one basis. That's what Dr. Barry talks about when you eat meat, that fat is okay to eat. When is fat not okay to eat? When you're adding a whole bunch of carbs in there. Well, and that you won't gain fat if you're eating just normal, whole foods. And what I'm learning is what becomes individual is not like the protein. The protein everyone needs. What seems to be individual is like that fat lever. Right. And we're constantly working to see like, where am I full and satiated both in a meal and in between meals? Right. So we're always sort of like working with that fat lever. Right. Right? That's right. So so we just don't, we don't want anybody to feel like you can't be a part of family if no. we're doing something differently than you. And that's why we are insistent that there's no keto police in our family group, that we, we do review products and we do consume some of the keto products because I feel that there is a very important part up for them in the keto space, some people absolutely need them. Some people are on the go. Like for us, like keto chow is very part, much a part of our lifestyle because we are such busy people. Should it be a majority of your food? No, but there's a part for it or there's a place for it. And you know, that's why we say that you need to do you keto. Regardless of what we're doing, you do your keto. So that looks like a delicious roast. Look at that. I'm excited to eat this, but we're gonna take it with us and just be able to slice it up and eat it on the road. We are getting ready to go. And honestly, it's 12.24. I was trying to be out of here by 12 o'clock. I will take this. I'm, this is a victory. We should be down there before check-in because check-in is at three. It takes for where we're going about two hours, two and a half hours. So without any traffic, it should be pretty good. What do you got there? I have, I, I have a, some uh, car snacks, okay. like a, an early brunch for us. It smells very farty in this it's car right now. It's super farty in this car because it's just eggs. So we had two eggs that we boiled in the, or we cooked in the Instapot right. and they cracked, the shell cracked. Right. And so I just chopped those up and mixed it with a tablespoon of the, um, whatchamacallit that we made last night, the, the holiday, holiday sauce. sauce. And then I put it on top of a slice each of the Maria Emmerich bread. Okay. And then um, I just topped it with some of the Redmond garlic pepper. Love that stuff. So, so we're gonna get out of here. Uh, we will check in with you guys when we get down there. Keto on the couch was pretty good, except for there were some technical issues, but- Don't be hard on yourself. It wouldn't yourself. be two crazy ketos without some technical issues, That's right? That's right. Oh my God. Did I do good? That is delicious. Every once in a while, I totally nail an idea. You know what it is? Okay, so I'm not a big egg salad fan. Never have been. I love egg salad. I like chicken salad. That was my deal. Okay. But the key to good egg salad is really big egg whites. Yeah. So some people like, it gets to the point where it, you don't see any egg whites. It's mush. So look at this. Look at all those big pieces of egg whites. So you really get the good flavor. And that hollandaise sauce, that may be better than using mayonnaise for an egg salad. So we just stopped at Wendy's in Key Largo, a little bit yeah. south of Key Largo. 
we needed to use the restroom and it wasn't <laughs> anything we wanted to do in the rig especially because i don't have any water i don't have anything in the water in the water tank but we said you know what it's it's 1 45 we're about an hour away why not get some lunch so i was looking at everything you know they don't have a dollar menu anymore a, they not? a junior bacon double cheeseburger which used to be like a dollar 29 yeah 279 so I said to the guy, what about the patties? Because, I mean, they've always done the dollar patties. Well, he's like, we have the extra large patties, which is these. These are pretty decent They're size. They're pretty decent size. And Wendy's is, to me, the best fast food burger because I like the way they cook it and everything. Plus, I like the square aspect of it. But, it's fine. Uh, these were $2 a piece. So that's $6 worth of patties there. So $12. And I'm again, that goes back to... That is more meat there than we had at the Burger King at the airport. You are absolutely right. Right? But They're I mean, thicker. but still, that's not nearly the meat that we had with that burger in uh, Vegas. And so that's $6 worth of meat. And the burger in Vegas and everything cost us basically $10 a piece. It was right. twice as much meat. And eggs and bacon. And it had eggs and bacon. But... This is not bad for being on the road, and uh, it'll at least be a little filling. We do have mustard in the rig, so just throw a bit of mustard on there, and we will eat as we drive down the road. Home sweet home, lot number seven. Well, we're here. We made it. We got everything set up. Just in time for the rain. It started raining. Let's take a walk. And in typical Joe fashion, Aww. because he is always in a hurry. Don't you hate on my husband. Always in a hurry, ran out the door, because I'm doing like 2 million things at one time, right. because I need to learn to slow <laughs> down. Joe, you need to slow down. Editing Joe, slow down. Slow down, Joe. I left my backpack at home. My backpack contains my computer, my iPad, my GoPro Hero 9, my GoPro Hero 10, the charging cable for our um, wireless hotspots, and who knows what else. A bonus that we have yet to discover. Yes. So what does that all mean? That means that Joe doesn't get to record a lot of water videos and Joe doesn't get to edit any videos. So it's probably a good thing. I think that we have exactly what we need to enjoy this. Yeah. This is the backyard. This is where we need to focus our attention. So here's the funny thing is you just saw us take that little walk. We can walk this way, but see, we've been here before. The last time we were here, our rig was like on the water, right. sort of. There's yeah. like a dune here. See, we turn this way. See this dune behind us? You gotta stay in the frame there. See the dune behind us? Well, on the other side of this dune, you can see right over there, there's an RV there. So that dune protects everybody from the water because the water is right there. Right there. So 
the site that we're in has a private walkway to the water just for us. That's pretty You want nice. to come on this side? Well, I just didn't want you to run into a tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the other people who aren't on that private walkway, and there's only one other spot that has access to that private walkway, they have to walk down the street and then find the one entrance that takes them out to the water. But they have pretty sights. Oh, no, it's a gorgeous sight. But... I like the private access to the water. I just do. Well, especially for the paddle boards. And the funny thing is, is this is not the site we were supposed to be in. We were supposed to be in, I think it was site 17, which is actually the same site we were stayed in last time. Uh -huh. And we would have been happy. The thing was, is the only time I could get that booked was Tuesday through Friday. Right. And I decided to, I really wanted to come Sunday through Wednesday like we normally do because we don't have to worry about the live stream because there's not really great internet down here. Yeah. And also I thought football season would still be going on but they gave me a football this is the last week of regular season but they gave me a football game on Thursday so I gave it back because we have our live stream because right. I love you guys and we want a live stream. Absolutely. So we transferred this site opened up and i moved over and i'm like oh look sunday through tuesday we actually got it monday through wednesday yeah, monday and you know i was like i wanted that site i've you know this here look at this water nice view so you got that there and then there's the water super close but they have to come to this walkway that's right here right this this guy's not so bad but the people who down on the end they have a little bit more of a walk so you know, you got to give up something to get something, it's right? It's still not like when we go and visit the beach by our house and no. the walk you have to take from a parking lot to the beach. This right. is super, super close. I think we're getting a little bit spoiled when it comes to campsites and beach access. So can I talk about a non-scale victory for a second? Yes. So I didn't realize until I was putting on my bathing suit after keto on the couch and putting my jeans back on from this morning yep. that uh, my jeans... Don't oh my god! Like they did. Can you like fit your? Whole, oh wow! I, I don't want to like too much there, but look at, look at that. that. Can you put your whole fist there between your stomach? Look at that. That is pretty stinking awesome. So these were never like super tight pants. They had like a little bit of give to them, but not like this. Every time I turn off the camera, they jump. Yeah. And then when I turn on the camera, they stop. Tell them that you're turning off the camera, wink, wink, and then leave oh, it on. Oh, there was just one behind you. Aww. Where's your water shoes? Um, in the rig. I needlessly brought these ones, which are Crocs. I mean, they're great in the water, but they're going to like sink into the mud. Lynette, Miriam, Holly, I'm thinking about you right now because this is sinky mud. You know what I look forward to most about camping? What? The shower. Oh yeah, because it's so hot and it comes out so strong. It's like an elephant shower. It is got so much better pressure than our house and it's hotter than our house. So I just assembled that bicycle. I'm taking a shower. How was the premiere? It was so good. It was really awesome. I was just checking to see, cause we had to, a little bit of a snafu with keto on the couch editing. So we're like re-uploading it to see what went wrong? So yeah, we edited out the whole like first portion where we had no voice and somehow the edit on YouTube like took out the whole end. I don't understand why. Thanks Heath for letting us know. Yeah. So uh, we're going to start off. We're going to have a little piece of the Maria Emmerich bread with some butter on it. Yeah. And I'm going to take a shower and then we're going to eat some of the like that roast beef that we made the eye round. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You gotta give it the real us. <laughs> oh, no one wants the 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 nitty gritty stuff like bed hair. You want breakfast? Do I want? Have I ever said no to that question? There's been times where you didn't want anything to eat, but I've got pork belly, I've got a blackstone, and I've got eggs. Have I ever said no when that was the lineup for the morning? Okay, so I've got the. Pork belly going. I'm going to put the eggs on. Do you want me to inflate the paddle boards? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. From the Florida Keys. We are awake. Camp coffee helps to be a powerful motivator <laughs> for getting up. So we actually slept late. I think we needed it. Uh, we went to bed by like 10, which 
that's that's like early for us. We're normally like midnight, 1 a.m. 1 Camping makes you go to bed early. Yeah. It just naturally does because when it's dark outside, you're like, okay, it's time to wind down. Whereas yeah. we can push through the night if right. we're home. I did um, last night while Rachel was doing the premiere, I assembled our bicycle that we got from Turbo Ant. So we're going to take that for a little ride. It, it actually assembled really well. I don't know how, you know, how much it would be good for camping because it doesn't fold. Right. But if you have a bike rack, it would be really good because it's much lighter than our foldable bicycles. And, and I say like almost 20 pounds lighter. That's what I like about it because I can put down the, um, the back seat even in my vehicle. Mm -hmm. And if I can fit it in there to take it to local parks, I would probably take that just because it's so light. Yeah, and the front, the front wheel comes off. You know, I just have to show you how to do that. So uh, last night, um, we decided that we were just gonna have some time to ourselves. So for dinner, we did not film anything. And what we had was we had some of the pork belly cooked on the Blackstone, just like kind of grilled up on the Blackstone. Yeah. I took some of that uh, eye round roast, which came out perfect. Now, we would have eaten that thing right out of the gate, like as soon as we came off the grill. It would have been perfect temperature. It would have been probably a good medium rare. And that's what I was going for. So you can see inside. So now it's, it's about a medium rare. Uh, probably it was a rare before, but we were shooting for having something for almost like a lunch meat where you can either eat it hot or cold and it's the perfect temperature because it's it. it's pink all the way through so now when you go to reheat it it won't be like that overcooked disgustiness but you can also eat it cold it's a great way to go out with you need food or something costs us what like twelve dollars for the whole roast at least two days worth of food and you can eat it hot or cold i think that that is way cheaper than just getting lunch meat mm -hmm. like roast beef we're getting a lot more roast beef this way yeah well think about this so we stopped at wendy's yesterday yeah we each got three burgers mm -hmm. that was twelve dollars wow but that entire roast was twelve dollars oh my gosh there's a seaplane going over our head hi so here's what we decided to do since we're here since i left all my good cameras at home since i left my computer at home and I can't edit videos. You didn't leave your wife at home. I did not leave my wife at home. Uh, we're going to make day 37 and dirty 38. Today's day 38. It's not 37. Yes, Is it, it was 38? 30, yesterday was it's 37. Dirty eight today, man. We don't know what's going to happen. So we're just going to make this like a Monday, Tuesday vlog so that I don't have to go home and release five videos in one day. Right. So this will come out sometime probably Wednesday evening if I have time to edit it. We got breakfast. We're having some breakfast. Water's right behind us. It's it's pretty, it's, it's moving, but it's flat. There's not a lot of big waves. So I think we'll be able to get out there on our paddle board. Uh, two eggs, some of the pork belly that I've crisped up on the Blackstone, mm. and just one piece of the Maria Emmerich bread. What are your thoughts on leaving the egg yolk in here since we're not caring about just being protein sparing? If we're not caring, I actually think I like it better. The I think consistency it tastes more like regular bread. It's really, really nice. It tastes like regular bread. It's not meeting the criteria of PSMF, but I really don't give It's a, serving its purpose. Never care. We like it as a little th extra thing and we don't even eat it every day. We we probably make one to two batches a week. Mm -hmm. And when it's gone, it's gone. Um it's really good for sopping up egg yolk. But it just has like a, I don't know, it's, a funner consistency. Yeah, it does. So we're going to finish eating and we're going to get the paddle boards inflated. And I think it's time to get on the water. I also want to run into town, which actually we're very close to town from here. And we want to get a cast net because there is so many like mullet and stuff out there. There's a lot of We want to just fish. see what we can, you know, catch out there. It 
is hot outside. It is very humid. It's We're definitely humid. back home. Not used to this after traveling so much the last couple of months. Nevada did not feel like this. So as we've been biking, uh, we came past this Crane Point Reserve. Yeah, Crane Point Hammock. So we're gonna go ahead and check out inside. It's some kind of nature preserve. I've never seen it. We're gonna go see what's going on inside. It's got a museum. So I got some good news for you. You do? So this is about a mile and a half walk around, he said. Okay. And halfway through, there's a place where you could stick your feet in and get a fish pedicure. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wanted to do that in Las Vegas, but the whole time I was there, I was like, this feels like something you would either do on a cruise or you would do in the Keys. So I get to do it in the Keys. This, what we're in right now, I was talking to the gentleman at the front and this was a, pro uh, a property, 32 and change acres, purchased by a man named George Adderley for $100. Can you imagine buying 32 acres in the Florida Keys for $100 and he had three years to pay for it? So this is a 725 pound ocean sunfish caught by hand near Knight's Key on January 10th, 1977. That is a big sunfish. So down here they have a little bit of an aquarium Oh wow, look at these fish. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, you got any food? I think he's used to the tourists. This is what they call a cracker house. Um, and the way that they built it was so that you got the most cross ventilation. So the gentleman at the front actually said, wait till you stand in there. It gets way cooler in the house than it is out here. Oh yeah. They set up this perfectly. It is a couple of degrees cooler inside this house versus outside this house. Well, I'm here on the front porch standing next to a washing machine because this is where you would want to do all the laundry out here where it's at least 10 degrees cooler than it is just off the porch. I didn't even realize I have my own creek. Look at this, it's Rachel Creek. Although it's often referred to as a creek, the body of water seen through the trees is actually a very, very narrow inlet. In the days of George Adderley, that's the house we're about to visit, this inlet was open at both ends and clearly distinguished Key Vacay from Rachel Key. It is not difficult to imagine Adderley's sponging dinghy moored in the safety of this natural harbor. Yeah, that was what people in this area did. They were spongers looking for sponges, like actual, you know, sponges in the water to, to use in household items. Um, but I was just reading how they had to have smudge fires all around their homes, all around here, all the time, because the mosquitoes and the no were the worst. So it could be very stifling and hot inside the house, but I can totally imagine mosquitoes are thick here. So you have to do something to, to stay not bitten. So I see two, mice. two pieces of food. Look at how unassuming this bird is, but definitely a carnivore. Are you gonna do it? I am totally going to do it. Look at this. They're descending on even just a leaf. Oh my gosh. That is like the coolest feeling ever. Look at these cutie patooties. Now I am so glad that you painted my toenails because yeah, I did not know that they would be on display today. It's a weird feeling. I mean, they're like kind of like ticklish, but at the same time it feels good, but there's so many of them. It's almost like you're getting like these little, like, I don't know, hits. It, it, I can't describe how this feels, but it feels really cool. To me, it feels like fishy kisses. It's so fun, but I thought you actually had to like scrape the dead skin off, like get it started, but no, they're just going right in and doing all the work. So I thought I was the first wife that wanted all the cooking outside. No, turns out Mrs. Adderley did not want any cooking going on in the house. Of course, usually they were afraid of fires, not like us. Um, and so this is the outdoor barbecue kitchen area. Well, that was fun. That was super fun, but my butt is ready to get off of the bike seat and onto the paddleboard. So we're not really ready for dinner yet. So we're gonna have like a light lunch slash dinner and then eat dinner a little bit later. 
So we're gonna have a slice of the Maria Emmerich protein sparing bread. This is the one that has the egg yolks in it, so it's not really protein sparing, but it is only egg. Then on top of it, we have one hard boiled egg chopped up with a little bit of the hollandaise sauce mixed in as kind of like a mayonnaise, and then a little bit of seasoning on top. So we're gonna have this, and then we'll eat more food later on. Are you ready to go outside? Almost. I am not putting on suntan lotion. We actually find we do better without that. Um, insect repellent. So this is the best insect repellent we have found. I'll this leave a link for it. This is the thing out there. It's expensive, but it really works. The, down here in the Keys, the mosquitoes, the no seams, they could be brutal. Just yeah. walk outside for a couple minutes. You don't even see them, and the next thing you know, you feel like you're getting bit. And this no really CMs. does, you know, keep them at bay. It's as clean as you can get for an insect repellent, but it actually stink. works. Yeah. It's just so relaxing. I can't take it. I love this so much. Good morning. Um, yeah, we didn't do very good last night. We just... I, that sounds bad. Out. Because that sounds like we cheated or... No. We, no. we ate dinner. We ate all of the rest of the eye round. All which the was delicious. And again, the more we were thinking about it, we're like, why haven't we done this in the past? Because it makes a great cold lunch meat. It really worked And well. it worked really well heating it up. And it, it was inexpensive. When you think about the fact that we paid $12 for six patties from Wendy's, and though they were good, they were good. especially for a fast food burger, it wasn't the amount of meat that we got for $12 from that eye round. No, it was not. And uh, it, it was really good. But... We didn't feel like turning on the camera. We were watching a movie. And, uh, yeah, so we just ended it right there. We just rested. We had a good day yesterday, though. It we was got, a lot of fun. More than we were even planning on doing. We got a lot of movement in, which I always feel super accomplished when we do that. And we found a place we never would have noticed before. And I thought, that's what our movement does because... We go for longer bike rides and we're at the pace of vacation. So when a new opportunity springs up, we don't have to be like, oh no, I don't have any energy to do something extra today. Right. I love that, that we have extra energy. Now I did want to answer a question. I was going through all the comments and people were asking about that bread that we made, which is based off of Maria Emmerich's uh, PSMF bread. But what I decided to do was just see what would happen is with uh, adding yolks. So the way I'm doing it is, is I whipped up all of the egg whites, just like you would make do the regular the protein recipe. Bread. So whip up all the egg whites. Once it, they're all nice and stiff, then I just threw into the mixer the egg yolks, just six egg yolks. I put it on low and just put it in there, let that combine and then I added in the egg white protein powder. So the only difference is, is I'm adding in six egg yolks. That also means it's not uh, protein sparing modified no. fast anymore. But I'm not eating it for protein sparing modified fast. Right. We're just eating it as bread. So we're going to wrap up this vlog right here. Let us know how are you doing on whatever challenge you're doing right now. Let us know down in the comment section. We're going to wrap up this vlog. I'm going to start the uh, bacon or the pork belly right. on the Blackstone for breakfast. We're going to open up the next vlog. And you said you want to do a keto camping fear factor. Yes, I do. I brought three items for keto camping fear factor. Okay. Well, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we have an adventure, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.